crafty kids in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make a paper button so this is a very easy way of making a paper button and this is useful too so this is also a really cute and nice and easy fidget toy as well so you guys can make this in a really easy way and it will be really nice to play with and you can even make it for your siblings your friends and family members as well so before we start please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet like share and comment also press the bell icon so that you'll receive a notification whenever i upload a video so now without any further delay let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this really cute and nice button so to get started i'm just going to be taking a few materials so i'm just going to be taking two square pieces of paper so i'm going to take two different colors so one needs to be a little bit bigger than the other one since we have to fit one box inside the other so as you guys see mine's like this much bigger than the other one and i'm just going to be cutting this paper at the corner to get the perfect size over here so now we've completed cutting it and i'm going to be cutting it over here on this side as well a little bit so now it's completed so now we'll be starting to make two boxes so i'm just going to take the first paper and i'm going to be folding it in half on both sides of the paper like this Next, I'm going to be folding all the four sides of the paper to the middle line. So after we complete this, I'm going to be folding this paper over here and I'm going to be taking this part and I'm folding it to the top. So it will be like into three parts. So I'm going to be repeating the same step over here as well. So it should be folded into three pieces. So we just have to overlap the pieces. Now I'm going to open this paper and I'm going to fold one paper over here. And I'm going to be doing the same step and I'm overlapping this piece over here. So now I'm just going to be opening this part and I'm going to pushing these two parts inside over here. And I'm going to be closing it slowly like this. So after we complete this, I'm going to be repeating the same step on the opposite side of the paper as well. So we have to do this slowly so it will come properly. I'm just going to be pushing it over here and one more over here as well. So now I'm just going to push in this part slowly inside. So this will take a lot of time to do. So please do it carefully or it won't turn out well. So I'm just going to push this over here and I'm pushing it back inside. So now we've completed with this part and I'm going to be just pushing it inside over here. So after we complete this, I'm going to keep this aside and I'm going to be repeating the same step on this side of the paper as well. So you guys can stop the video or watch the video from the beginning so you guys can do it in a perfect speed. So I'm just going to be doing it really quickly. So now I'm just going to be folding it over here. So the last part should be done really slowly because we do it fast, it won't turn out well. So I'm going to be completing it over here on the side of the paper and I'm just going to be sticking it over here, over here. So now we've completed and we have two cubes like this. Now I'm just going to be taking one cube and I'm just going to be fitting it inside the other cube and I'm going to be checking if the size is perfect. So now I'm just going to be doing it slowly. So if it's like, it should be like more smaller than this one. So it should not be like, you just have to go inside. It should be really smaller than the other one. So I'm just going to be checking it over here. So I'm just going to be slowly inserting it over here and it's perfect in size. So next I'm just going to be taking this piece out and taking it. So next I'm going to be taking this half of um, blue paper over here. So now I'm just going to be folding it slowly like this. So it's just the remaining part from the other fidget thing I did. So I'm just going to be folding this slowly like this. So please do this slowly. So I'm just going to be folding it slowly like this and it's completed. So uh, you guys can take any color combination you like and it's a really good fidget toy. If you guys want me to post more fidget toy videos, you can comment and I'll try to make them. So I'm just going to be folding it over here. So after we complete this, we're just going to be folding it like this over here. A small fold like this. Then we're supposed to be turning the paper and folding it over here. So one point is that if you guys feel like it's too hard to fold it like this, then you guys can cut it a little bit or you can even open this part over here and you can cut it because it might not be really too big. So I feel like it's kind of thick over here. So I'm just going to be opening it and I'm going to be cutting it. So we only need blue at the last part of this graph and it's not even compulsory at all. So you guys do not have to... Uh, use blue if you like have the correct size but if it's not working for you then you might have to use some blue 
Please be careful while using your scissors because there are many incidents in which small children cut their fingers. So I'm just going to be folding it over here a little bit. And I'm just going to be folding this paper over here at the corner slowly like this. Now I'm just going to be taking this part and I'm folding it at the back part and I'm folding it inside like that. So I'm just going to be repeating the same step. So I'm just going to be folding it step by step slowly like this. So I'm just going to be doing it like that. So it'll take a lot of time. So please do it slowly. So now I'm just going to be pushing this part and I'm going to be doing it over here. So if you guys, I said, if you guys feel like that you can even complete folding this carefully and you can cut it over here as well. It'll take a lot of time for doing this. So I'm just going to be doing it slowly like this over here as well. So please do this slowly because uh, the paper is too thick so it won't fold properly. So meanwhile, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you will receive a notification whenever I upload a video. Also share this video with all your friends and family members and can keep continuing to watch my channel. So I'm just going to be folding this paper over here. So as I said, take a lot of time since we are folding it slowly like this. So now I just had enough. So now I'm just going to be cutting the remaining part out because I think that this part is enough for this one. So I'm just going to be pushing it slowly like this all towards this part over here. And I'm just going to be folding it like this and I'm keeping it inside this part, big part over here. So I'm just going to be pushing it slowly inside, perfectly inside over here. So now I'm just going to be taking this one. And I'm going to be pushing it over here. So as you guys see, if it's too big like this, then you can cut it a few more times. So since this is too big, I'm just going to be cutting it one more fold over here. So that's why you guys need small paper, but they won't take it too small. And I mainly use a thick paper because we use a thin paper. Then even if you take two A4 sheets, it will not fit properly. So if you take thick paper like this, or you can even take cardboard and do it like once. When I'm using A4 sheet, you can fold it many times. So now I'm just going to be putting it back inside. I just cut it a few times and now I'm taking this part and I'm going to be putting it slowly inside over here. So I'm going to be inserting it slowly like this and I'm going to be folding it over here. So now we can push it over here and it's working. Sometimes it might not work. So if you guys feel like it's not working, you can try to make the string a little bit bigger or you can even make it smaller if it's like too big. Then you can try to make the size of the box even more smaller to make it perfect. So after we complete this, our paper button is ready. So this is a really cute and easy fidget toy to make as well. So one more trick is that if you feel like it's not working properly, you can use glue over here in this bottom part of the paper. But please don't make two cubes and stick it together because it won't look nice and won't work as well. So now I'm just going to be applying some glue over here on this bottom part as well. So we like that. So once you complete applying the glue, I'm going to be taking one piece of the paper and I'm just going to be sticking it to the bottom part over here. So I'm just going to be doing it like that. And now I'm going to be taking this part and I'm going to be putting it slowly inside over here. So I'm just going to be doing it. So we just have to give it some time to dry since uh, it needs a lot of time to get dried and stick stuck inside. I'm just pushing it. So after we complete this and after we give some time, it will be ready. So as I said, our button is ready. So you just have to give some force and push it inside. So it will work properly. And after we complete this, our paper button is ready. So this is a really cute fidget toy to play with. And you can share with all your friends and family members. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of making a paper button. And if you guys have any other ideas for my channel, you can definitely comment in the comment box below. And I'll try to post uh, do that video and post that as soon as possible if I'm good at making it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. So before I conclude, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a video. If you guys have any doubts about how to make this and other crafts, you can definitely comment in the comment box and I'll try to respond to them as soon as possible. And if you have any doubts about how to make this button, you can also comment and um, you can just try some new tricks. And if you have any ideas, you can comment in the comment box. So if you have any ideas about what I should post on my channel, you can comment that in as well. And I'll see your comments as soon as possible and I'll try to make them. So thank you for watching and share this video with all your friends and family and keep continuing to watch my channel. Bye! And also don't forget to comment in the comment box about how your cute little button turned out after you complete making it. Bye!